text flow along with an audio waveform. Here I'll just be showing you how you can incorporate that into an actual montage other than using it for an intro. This is used more using it as a transition or as an opener. I don't know. Um, now I've already created it here in After Effects, but I'll just kind of show you what I did. So, under Project, I imported my WMV and then my actual clip. So, I would drag my WAV out, sorry. So, we'd have our audio. And then we drag out the clip, and then we do new solid on the solid effect generate audio waveform. Under here, you would make you want to make your audio layer the actual WAV file. Mine's Patriot, chose a random one. Um, and then the colors don't matter at all. You're gonna want to make display options digital instead of analog lines which it originally starts at now what I just did differently was I added in some keyframes the first keyframe I guess we'll be looking at is maximum height now you'll notice if I come up here and I was to zoom in there is no there's these little little very little lines if you can't see them at all that's barely even noticeable from 100%. I'll leave you at 50 though. So, um, maximum height, I put it at 1 to start with. This way, it will slowly go, it will gradually get bigger. So you want to start at 1, then go, I went, I went about, I just kind of went about a minute and 19 seconds into it, and then I put mine to about 4,000. I'm at 118. If I was to go to 119, you'll see it's now at 4,000. And then I just randomly clicked towards a little bit the center in there about where it happened at. Mine's around 18 seconds. When I want to make the thickness starting to get bigger. The reason for so if the thickness was at zero, there would not be anything there. So if the thickness gradually gets bigger, it'll gradually, see how these are thick? Like they're like, um, kind of ovalish instead of really sharp lines like right here. Those are kind of sharp. That's my best way I can describe it. So I make it get bigger to a bullet here. And what I really, what I did was, you'll, if you pay attention down here, um, uh, about here, I guess I could say, it's at like 23.61. I didn't want to change it, so what I did was, when I went to this keyframe, it's still, it's at like 25.67. I just made, I just changed it just a little bit, and then I made it get bigger and bigger, and then I left it the same. So it's all just keyframes making your thickness go. So I'm starting at 0.88 thickness. Then you get bigger as your maximum height grows, and so on and on and on. Your clip will play, and then you can just make it fade out here. That's really all there was to just making it into more of a transition. You could even use this just to kind of make it transition into a new clip from an old one, although since the way... Oh, let's just actually go into it, I guess. So, like... Right here, there is um, a part of it that is solid black. That would still be the clip, I guess, behind it. So, but that's really all there is to it. Same general idea, just adding a few keyframes in and keeping it simple. So, I hope you enjoy this quick little tutorial and I hope you continue to check out our channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.